Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Gen Y Glider shock absorbing ball mount for two inch trailer hitches. So this is what our ball mount looks like installed. Now if you're familiar with Gen Y products, they use this hammered powder coated finish on everything. It's that combination of that black and gray coated over their steel and that sort of does two things. Number one, it's going to protect all the components from rust and corrosion. Uh, I definitely will say that ball mounts are definitely one of our more abused items. They take a lot of abuse on the back of the vehicle here. Um, we're constantly banging stuff into those, whether it's our shin or the coupler on our trailer. They, do, they are definitely a heavily abused item. Therefore, having that thick and durable powder coat is going to help our ball mount keep it looking new for time to come. And also, personally, I like the look of this hammered finish here. It's definitely an aesthetically pleasing ball mount. So what's special about the glider ball mount? So there's tons of ball mount options on the market, a lot of different adjustable ones. Some of them are made out of aluminum, makes it a little bit more lightweight, easier to manipulate if we're gonna be taking it on and off the vehicle. We also have some other options with a built-in scale that allow you to dial in your tongue weight for a little bit more of a better ride. And we have the cushion ball mount, which is what the glider is. Now there's a few different cushion ball mounts on the market, but I really like this Gen Y one here. Basically how this works is with a lot of the cushioning mechanism, this is similar to a torsion axle. So if you're familiar with trailers, chances are you've heard of torsion axles before. And basically how this works is the shaft here is going to be encased in a very thick and durable rubber bushing. And what that rubber bushing does is it helps absorb some of the road shock when we're traveling down the road which is really gonna smooth things up on our trailer here, keeping the wear off the trailer and the rough ride off the vehicle. So just to touch a little bit further on this torsion mechanism here. So the shaft inside there that's encompassed with that rubber bushing, that thing is very, very durable. It's definitely a heavy duty rubber. So you're not gonna to have to worry about it wearing out. It's definitely gonna be a well-made product that's gonna last you for time to come. So the Gen Y glider is gonna be designed for two inch trailer hitch receivers. However, it can be used on some of your larger trucks now that come with that two and a half inch receiver. You're just gonna need an adapter to go from two and a half inches down to two inches, and we have plenty of those to choose from here at eTrailer. So in addition to the built-in cushioning, we also have built-in adjustments on certain models. So we're gonna have the standard model here, which offers a two inch drop, but there's also another model you're gonna see, which has up to a six inch drop. Now I say up to a six inch drop is because we can actually adjust the drop from two to six inches with one and a half inch increments. So this is definitely gonna be a wide encompassing ball mount that's gonna allow you to tow a multiple variety of different trailers with different vehicles. Now that's one of the reasons I really like the adjustable ball mounts is you're not just buying a fixed ball mount for a specific vehicle in a specific trailer. Having the adjustable feature there is gonna make sure that you can tow any trailer you need with any vehicle you have at the time. So in regards to weight capacities, this particular ball mount here is gonna be suited for right around the medium duty trailers. Um, anywhere between the four and 7,000 pound rating is gonna be perfect for this ball mount. That's gonna allow the ideal operation of the torsion mechanism here. So we are limited to 7,000 pounds for the gross trailer weight rating though. So that's the maximum amount we can pull outward on our fully loaded trailer and then we're limited to 700 pounds of tongue weight. But again, the ideal range for this ball mount here in order to effectively take advantage of this torsion mechanism is anywhere from four to 700 pounds of tongue weight or anywhere from four to 7,000 pounds of gross trailer weight. So something else I would like to point out about this ball mount is that it's gonna be made in the USA. Therefore, you know you're getting a quality product you can trust and you're supporting American manufacturing. So now that we've gone over some of the features of the ball mount here, we actually have a test course here at eTrailer, which is gonna be great to really test out this ball mount here so we can give you guys our honest opinion on it. We have a speed bump course, which is really gonna help simulate the potholes or just the bumps in the road you're gonna be incurring on your daily travels there. So we can really give this thing a good once over and give you guys our honest opinion on what we think of it and how well it's gonna perform for you guys at home. Hey guys, I just got done taking our ball mount here around our test course at e-trailer. And I can honestly say I was pretty blown away with this thing. I could certainly hear our trailer behind us, but I really couldn't feel it. 
It definitely does an excellent job of help cushioning the ride in the vehicle here. So not only are we gonna have a little bit more of an enjoyable ride, but we're also gonna be prolonging the life on our trailer and our vehicle here by helping reduce some of the wear on the suspension. So before we hook up our trailer here, we first need to determine the correct hitch ball size we need to install on our ball mount. So the easiest way to do this is to simply look on the coupler of your trailer. Almost all of them are gonna have the hitch ball size requirement stamped into this metal here. So for our particular trailer here, this coupler takes a two and five sixteenths inch hitch ball. So that's what we're gonna be installing onto our ball mount here. Now, in regards to the diameter of the ball, we also need to pay attention to the diameter of the shank, which is this diameter here. So these ball mount platforms are gonna accept a one inch diameter shank. So you need to make sure that the diameter of the hitch ball size matches the coupler on your trailer, and you need to make sure it has a one inch diameter shank. As you can see here, we already have our hitch ball, the correct size with the correct diameter shank installed onto our ball mount platform. So now that we have the hitch ball size requirements taken care of, we need to address the rise and drop requirements for our particular tow vehicle and our trailer. So in order to do this, we need to measure the distance from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, and we're gonna write that down. Then we're gonna go ahead and use our tongue jack to level our trailer here. And once we have the trailer level, we're gonna be measuring the distance from the ground to the bottom edge of the coupler. Now the difference between those two measurements there, that's going to tell us our rise and drop requirements. If the trailer sits higher than the vehicle, that means we need a rise, but most of the time the vehicle is going to sit higher to the trailer, therefore we need a drop, which was where our two ball mount options come into play. So we've already went ahead and measured, but our particular application, this two inch drop ball mount is going to work great, so this is one, the one we're going to install. So now we know we have the correct combination of hitch ball and ball mount. We're ready to go ahead and couple our trailer. So what we're gonna do is we're simply going to take the ball mount assembly and insert it into the receiver here on the trailer hitch. Now we have two hitch pin holes here on the shank. Some of them will allow for that first one to line up. Some of them, however, we may use, have to use the one closer to the end of the shank. Ideally, we'd want to use that first one to get as much of the shank inside the receiver as possible. Now, I would like to point out at this time that the ball mount actually doesn't come with a hitch pin and clip. So you will need to pur uh, purchase that separately here from e-trailer. We have plenty of options to choose from. It's going to accept the standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin and clip. However, with such a investment here with this ball mount, these things are definitely not cheap. I would recommend a locking option. And again, we have plenty of those to choose from here at eTrailer. So now that we have our ball mount secured to our vehicle here, we're gonna go ahead and back up and couple our trailer. Now with our trailer coupled, we're ready to hook up and take off down the road. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Gen Y Glider shock absorbing ball mount for two inch hitches.